What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 10 of my Road to Ellie series. I can't believe I made it to episode 10 already. It's pretty crazy to think um, about when I even started this. Um, a couple changes have been made though. Um, I have started streaming every day, basically every morning. I'm going to put the link in the description so if you guys want to go ahead and check it on out. And I also have my Discord as well where I'm constantly in there. I'm on it on my phone as well. So if you guys don't catch me in the clan chat down here when I'm online, you can always check me out on Discord. I'm always messaging back and forth with people so you can always check that out. Um, and uh, sometimes I'm in there voice chatting with everybody as well. So that's pretty cool. And I'll also put my Twitter link in the description as well. Um, so yeah, so getting right into this episode, uh, I made a decent amount of money. Um, I did have a lot of fun in this episode as well. Like I said, with the streaming, I'm going to start doing that a whole lot more. Um, not a whole much of an intro for this one, but let's go ahead and get right into the video. I hope you guys do enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start making all these random approaches. Totally like it's a pretty good um, herbal experience. But yeah, let's go ahead and grind out all of these Raynars. Let's do it. Hey guys, 87 farming in coming already. Hey, look at that. 1925 total. Nice. I've been doing a lot of farming lately just because of all the seeds that I've gotten from Slayer. As well as Zora. I need to go actually go back there and try and get some more magic seeds because I'm totally out. <laughs> and that's where I actually got all of them from. So I'm going to go ahead and probably knock out a bunch of that as well. Hopefully Duridel can give me some DKs. Steel Dragon, it's not too bad. I'll go ahead and knock that out real quick. So I actually forgot that there are Steel Dragons in the Catacombs. So I'm actually going to go ahead over there because I do need some like, I need some more um, Ancient Shards and Totem pieces. Because I want to do some more Scotizo, but I only have a Stark Totem base. So I'm going to grab out my Xerix Necklace, teleport to the Inferno. Because there is a little shortcut right over here, Oop. right in this area right here behind the church. There's a little hole you can go down, um, and steels are right south of that. So I'm going to go ahead right over there. Just finish that task as well. Oh, come on, Dodell. Give me something good. Go. Avian seas. Oh, shit. Guess I got to go back to Armin now. <laughs> So I do have these um, three clue scrolls. I'm going to go ahead and give them to Watson so I can get more. Just because I need to get an easy clue as well. Um, but if I hand these over now, I can still get you know hards and elites that I can do separately. So yeah. So I just got a key from, Ecum er, <laughs> from the um, Wilderness God Wars area. Because um, I'm going to go ahead and do some duo armor with Topaz Ring. And hopefully we can get some pretty good so I'm here with Topaz Ring this time at Arma. I'm on task. I have 124 left, I believe. Um, hopefully we can get something good. I have, I've only been lucky with one drop at Arma so far with Josh, and we got a skirt. So hopefully we can get that hilt and get a good split. Alright guys, coming in with kill 100 here at Armadale. Hopefully it's my drop. Oh god, if I can hit this minion. Let's see. Yep, kill 100 for the grimy dwarf weed. Not bad. Okay, so I'll start this armor trip. I bought 500 black chins. <laughs> down to 4 left. Um, so we're probably about close to 30 kill count. I started with 124 on task. I believe I'm down to 21. So now that I'm out of chins, uh, I'm probably going to range a couple more here with just my crossbow. We haven't gotten any drops, by the way. 291k cash. And then I'll probably end up killing some minions outside the room because I can't really be asked to just do this with, oh shit, <laughs> without um, chins. So yeah. Alright guys, that's going to be the last kill of the armor trip. Um, we didn't get anything good, unfortunately. We did about 40 kills. It was actually a really good trip. I ran out of my chins. I'm gonna. I got 12 left. I'm probably gonna do finish the last 10 outside of the room, and then possibly you'll get another task from Duradel. I don't know if I'm gonna try and get the same task or not from him well, with my Slayer Cape. I'll think about it. I don't know. Getting another task from Duradel, guys. Hellhounds. Oh God, you guys know where I'm going. Back to Cerberus. I just started my Cerberus task on my first trip, and I already got an Elite Clue Scroll, so I think I'm probably going to knock that out once I'm done with this trip. Nice. Oh, rip, guys. I need to do another slice of ham for this 
Clue. Oh, I don't want to do it. Fuck. <laughs> and there it is, boys. Quest complete for the giant dwarf. And that's a lot of experience, actually. Now, let me go see if I can complete this elite clue. Uh, let's see. Nope, now I need to complete the death of the Dorgashin quest. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Fuck. Alright guys, so I actually just went and got a easy clue from the hand members, as you can see from what I'm wearing. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this to Watson and claim the master. Shit, Jarrell. <laughs> I'm out. Alright, another quest done here, guys. One more to do so I can complete my elite. There we go, Death to Dorgashin. Entry to the Dorgish Khan. Woo! Nice. And there it is, another slice of ham complete. Time to go complete this um, this elite clue scroll, guys. Probably won't be worth it, but fuck it, let's do it. It's 25.05. And... Give me that casket. Let's go. Oh, Fury Ornament Kit. Nice. Nice, guys. Hell yeah. I've always wanted one of those, actually. Ooh, let's go. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and attempt this master clue. Um, I have a Jorl. Well, yes, a Jorl clue. I think that's how you say it. So i got to go locate where it is at. So wish me luck on that. Hopefully it doesn't take me ages to do. Let's see. Clue, probably, yeah. Jarrell? Oh, no! No, please. Sherlock's gonna fuck me. Oh my god, I can feel it coming. Oh god. Sherlock, please. You're my friend. My boy. Steel gem from the... I think I only need 75 for that? Stalls. Gem stall, yes! Oh, shit. Alright, guys, my last stew here. And um, I'm probably not going to get the boost, and I'm pretty sad about it. Fuck! No, that means I need to get five thieving levels. Ah! Should I grind it out or what? I don't. Uh, please, man. That's so bad. Because my cat's dead. I'm not going to go in there with a the kitten. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and buy a Pharaoh Scepter so I can train some thieving. Oh my god. So I need to get 75 for this master clue, and it's my last step, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go ahead and grind it out. It's not going to take me too long because thieving's pretty fast right now. Jesus, 6 mil. <laughs> So let's wield that and let's do some damn thieving. All right, about just about a minute off of an hour right now. And as you can see, I'm at 115k thieving experience an hour at the 71 mark for thieving, which isn't too bad. I've been doing the last two rooms that I can. I'm pretty sure that's the best way to do it is if you do room five and room six um, instead of just doing room six the whole time, I'm going to go ahead and look a little bit into that just to make sure that that's the best method that I've been doing to make sure I can't get any bit, any higher XP per hour. Here it is guys, the final level for 75. Now I can finally finish my master clue scroll and I can, <laughs> I can steal from the gem stall in Ardoin. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this run and then maybe hopefully I can get a get the scepter from the chest probably not no nah. and then I'm gonna teleport out of here and go finish the clue let's go here we go giving this back to Sherlock give me the casket baby oh my god so I had to grind out for at least four to probably about four hours to get from 70 to 75 thieving usually we have to grind for something for a clue it's usually not worth it so let's just go ahead and open this bad boy yep I knew it. God damn it. No way, guys. It finally happened. The primordial crystal. Yes, it's been so long since I had one. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so good to see on the ground. I'm so hyped right now. 
Oh, yes, guys. Primordial fucking crystal. Let's tell it to the chat, boys. Yes! No way, guys. A smoldering stone, not even like 15 kills later. What? <laughs> nice. Hopefully, we can get maybe all the crystals and all the drops. That would be fucking awesome. No way. <laughs> hey, guys, check it out. Elite Clue Scroll coming in at Cerberus. We've got a Primordial and a Smoldering Stone. And I've gotten some, uh, some of the teleports here as well, so that's pretty damn nice. Hopefully, we can get something good from that Elite. And then we can come on back. Why don't I just do that? So there it is, guys. 4200 KC at Cerberus for the Rune Chain Body. Got an Elite, Primordial, and Smoldering Stone this task with only 56 left. Hopefully, we can get another Crystal. Alright guys, so time to unlock the new reward for the Slayer. Um, encounters. So, bigger and badder. Increase the risk against certain Slayer monsters with a chance of a superior version spawning while on Slayer task. Let's go ahead and unlock that. I'm glad I saved up some points to do that as well, because I thought it was only going to be 100 points. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and knock out some tasks. I got 30 servers left, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that up. Hopefully we can get another crystal, and then I'll go ahead and knock out my Elite Clue Scroll. Yo guys, just got an Elite Clue Scroll from Cerberus. I think that's my second one this task. So once I finish this trip, I'm going to go ahead and knock it out. Hell yes. Streamer boys. <laughs> just got the Elite Casket, guys. I uh, haven't got anything good. Actually, my last Elite Clue Scroll, I got the Fury Ornament Kit. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so I just wanted to get another task from Steve because I finished my cow fights and he gave me Venonatus. Ah, uh, so I guess we can do... I'm not trying to do a whole task, I'm trying to get some of these new Slayer encounters, so... I'm doing three. Don't hate me, but I'm doing three. There we go guys, another task done. Venonatus task, nothing good. Got a room pickaxe. Gonna go ahead and get another task from Steve. Hopefully it can give me one of the new tasks for the Slayer Encounter. So let's go do that now. And... Suquaz, come on, bro. Nothing, or no superior encounters from that Banshee task, but I'm going to go ahead and get another task from Duradel here to see if we can get something good. And probably some more dragons, but it's okay. <sighs> what did I just say? Third all just gave me Hellhound's task, and I've been trying to get the new Slayer encounter, but um, I'm really debating on going to Cerberus or not. I can't decide, so I'm going to do a farm run. There it is, guys. 4,300 Cerberus KC for the Wands of Zamrock. Nothing great. All right, so I just finished making all of the what? <laughs> all of my um, super restores. Oh shit, my bank's fucked up. Damn. Um, yeah. Seven hundred and thirty-two super restores that I just made, and I made all my prayer potions as well. So I have four hundred fifty-nine left. I have like seven hundred. Cerberus has actually been slaying my prayer potions, but I'm gonna go ahead and decant all these. Uh, just see how many I get. So one second. All right, here we go. Decanting all of them. 563. Nice. That's beast. I'm not going to need prayer potions or anything for a while. Gosh, that looks so good, guys. So good. Nice, guys. Check it out. Got the Elite Clue Scroll again. I think that's the third one this task, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're going to definitely knock that one out as well. Nice. Damn it, guys. So I just got this clue scroll where I need to get 40% Lovacan favor uh, by making these Shazian supply armor. And I'm currently at zero. So I need to go over there and I need to mine some shit. And then I'll be back. And the elite reward coming in from the clue scroll. This one actually took me quite a while because I had to get that Lovacan favor, but um, well worth the reward? Wow. No, not worth the reward at all. Hmm. Damn. Guys, another elite clue scroll. <clears throat> oh, sorry, voice crack. Goddamn. With one server is left, an elite clue scroll. 
Can I get a crystal or something, please? Alright guys, about to get a pretty nice farming level actually. Should be getting it right here. Boom, 88 farming guys. That's a pretty big accomplishment. Two more levels till 90. Um, so yeah. So I did mess the recording up on this clip. I was streaming and I got this Elite Clue Scroll casket. Um, and unfortunately, it was not good. It, it just was not good. So before I do that Elite Clue Scroll, I just did that farm run, got that farming level. I do want to see what Duridel is going to give me for my next task. Oh yes, yes, yes. I'm going to go do all those Abbey Demons in the Catacombs because I can get the shards as well as the new Slayer Encounters, guys. Yes, I'm stoked for this task. Alright guys, I got, the I got the wife here to wish me some good luck with this chest. She's going to open it for me. Go ahead. Alright guys, you ready? Here I go. The Master Clue Scroll! That's good. The Master Clue Scroll! <laughs> That's good. The small yellow ring! What else is there? Some nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um. <laughs> she says some nuts. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good to go. See you later. Check in. There you go, guys. Check it out. Another casket complete. Master Clue Scroll, one of the quicker, one of the faster ones I've done, I would say. Uh, let's go ahead and get that junk real quick. <sighs> yep, just what I expected. 357k, not bad. Fuck. Got an elite Clue Scroll while I'm here just starting my Abbey task. Not bad. Yo, guys, just found a greater... Ooh, Ancient Shard. Did I kill it? Nope, it's right there. There we go, just killed him, I think. Oh, got the Dark Totem piece. Rip. <laughs> and before we get another one, though. God damn it. Just got another greater Abyss Abyssal Demon. Another Slayer encounter. Um, hopefully we can get something good from this one. Will the greater Abyssal. Let's get like three whips. Damn, that's pretty bad. <laughs> shit, I didn't even get a Dark Totem piece or anything. That's shit. Guys, just finished my Slayer task of Abbey Demons. I think I'm going to go ahead and try and get the same task from Durado. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Hopefully we can get some more Slayer encounters. You're just killing Scotizo. Because I had enough uh, pieces for the totem. What am I going to get? What am I going to get? Ah, the death runes. I guess that pays for all of the, um, damn, only one shard too? I guess that pays for all the death runes I just used at <laughs> Abyssal Demons. Fuck. Goal reward? Nice! So good. It's so good. At DK's, um, for... Did that just happen? Did that... Is this real life right now? <laughs> what the fuck? Guys, already Warriors Rain coming in. This is crazy. All these drops, I swear. Jesus, I don't have room for them. I'm starting a loot pile. Somebody come pick him up for me. I gotta kill this guy fast before Supreme spawns. He's in the wrong spot. Guys, Sears Ring. What is going on here? The luck is just real. Oh my god. There it is, guys. The Archer's Ring. Nice. Lord of the Rings incoming. Yes. Guys, it might happen. It actually might happen. If I can get... I just called it. If I get the Archers and the Zerker. Oh my god, yes. I got this trip for DKs, and I did not get... The Lord of the Rings, unfortunately, but it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and teleport out and see what we got from this task. Oops. Oops. <laughs> so, price check the loot. 3.3 mil in rings. 1 mil in bones, so not bad task at all. About 4 mil made in about an hour, I should say. And I got <laughs> the Dragon Spear. So 4.7 mil, let's go put this in the loot tab. Tube. And then she's going to open the hard clue scroll casket. Go ahead. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Oh, 
Oh! What's there? What do you see? Candy, some pants, <laughs> and a four loco, what? and a hammer. And, and what, what else? Some small tissues. <laughs> <laughs> she said tissues. Holy shit. Okay. And the mud battle staff coming in. And another mud battle staff, guys. What the hell? No archers, no zerker. Maybe I can get lucky and get one more archer ring right here on my last kill of the task. I'll probably kill one more um, Rex as well. Alright, no kill, or well, spine body from Supreme with, to finish the task. And then I'm just going to go ahead and, yeah, no, <laughs> nothing from that. So let's go ahead and just price check this loot real quick, guys. Not the best loot, but I did get a good amount of bones. I'm not in combat anymore. There we go. 71 bones. Two more battle staffs. 1.2 mil. Not bad. Alright guys, so that is going to be the end of the video. It's time to sell the loot tab. As you guys know, in every video, I have some good, a good amount of stuff in here. I got 184, 85 mil in platinum tokens. And I got this primordial crystal down here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that into a pair of debuts. Or, uh, yeah. Get that room crafting experience. Boom. Nice, guys. Let's go ahead and sell all the loot. There it is guys, 41 mil from this episode. That's actually a pretty decent chunk of money I would say. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take all these platinum tokens out so we can see where we're at. Go ahead and turn, let's deposit like 3 mil. First supplies, come on. Turn that into platinum tokens. Boom, 223 mil guys. Go ahead and screenshot that bad boy. Um, that's crazy. 223 mil. Ellie is currently like 700 mil, so I'm about 500 mil off, which in the, in the scheme of things is it's still a lot, but it's really not that far away. Um, I'm pretty happy with what I've accomplished this episode. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. What I'm going to go ahead and do next is probably get another Slayer task from Duradel and probably do that task next, start next episode. I have been streaming a lot since I started this episode. I will put my stream link in the description, but I'm going to start trying to stream every day almost um, in the mornings and then every Tuesday and Thursday uh, later in the day. So let me know what you guys think about my streams if you already checked them out. If you have any suggestions, let me know. If you like this episode, smash that like button, comment in the description, and favorite this episode. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Peace out.